let's talk now about the victims. This is Heather Heyer, the woman killed when that car drove into the crowd. She was 32 and described as a passionate advocate for people less fortunate than she was. This young woman died standing up for her beliefs. I am extremely proud of my daughter. I'm extremely proud that she stood for what she believed in, that she not only gave mouth to it, but she gave heart to it, she gave soul to it, and now she's given her life to it. Heather's mother, Susan, says her daughter's passion got her to rethink some of her own views. She has plans to create a movement that she hopes will be as strong as Heather. So the car crash that killed Heather injured 19 others, and tonight nine of them remain in the hospital there at the University of Virginia Medical Center. They are all listed in good condition. At the site of the crash, there is a growing memorial to Heather and the people hurt. Our Stephanie Ramirez is there live tonight. Hi, Stephanie. Hey guys, all day people have been coming here, dropping off flowers, lighting candles, praying, taking a moment. And here's some of what has been running through their minds as they've been doing this. After Friday's torch rally, the University of Virginia had discouraged its community from attending planned downtown rallies for Chris Graham, a UVA graduate. Um, intentionally skipped the event thinking that being here could actually encourage the people who wanted the attention. Um, and I understand why people were here, but now that this has happened, people have to be here. They have to speak out. They, they can't let the hate win. Rosario Cruz, a mother who wanted her daughter to see the makeshift memorial. This is my hometown. I've walked these streets when I was her age. I feel like this is like really important to her and for her to know that this, the Heather died fighting for us, fighting for, for her to be treated equal. It was so mean that he just came in and he knew that a lot of people were here and he just came in and hurt a lot of people for the neighbor who's been here 20 years or more. There's just been disappointment within the, the, the local government um, that this ended up being here in this uh, in this spot. I really believe is this is not going to happen again. There's only one side at this stage. This is not who we are as Charlottesville. And Leslie, Adam, I've been in contact with a lot of the survivors' families uh, over the weekend, and I can tell you many of them don't even want to tell their story on camera because they want the focus to be on here, what played out here, the violence and the victims who lost their lives over this. In Charlottesville tonight, Stephanie Ramirez, WUSA 9.